It's Dendi. Walks on forward. Yeah, not the easy They've target. practiced this before. The <laughs> They're gonna go for it regardless here. Dendi will then look to level up, but they have the spin right behind. They got a block wow. out, and they're gonna get the first blood. That is crazy. So probably chuckling a little bit at how ironic he gets caught with the first blood from a punch. <laughs> <laughs> Who is now at the top lane here, looking to scout out the setup here. He gets the pull and the hook. Oh, they make the easy setup from the Sven stun. Now they're looking to charge on in, and again comes the fissure thereafter. Able to get disruption. Art style cuts in the correct direction to the left-hand side. He might be able to make it away, and he will. Dendi already committing on forward, looking to get his own finish right there, and they do. I mean, do we have a lot of faith in the Elsa Marine late game? Uh, you know, if they don't manage to pull together those kills, hoping, okay, nice little pullback onto the bird, so Nico could be in trouble here, and they got the haste on the pudge. They're gonna be able to get the follow-up kill. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know. Because you already get so much, you have the regen, you already has the high armor, why not just kind of like, oh, man, up. Oh, Bo's is able to take out a Oh, top! They have the lockdown, Denny not gonna be going other where it looks like maybe another possible hook. High ground ward, they can see now on the side, but already Navi looking to move on forward here. They think they got an easy kill on Dale, but here comes the Sven charging on in. There's the Storm Hammer, plus the Pudge. The boot guy looking to come on forward. The wall gonna be dropped from Dale. So Nico able to rotate in, but there comes Pudge. He's still charging forward, but oh god, I'm eating a lot of damage. He gets dropped down immediately without getting anything off. Maybe then he'll have that additional lockdown factor, but not going to be available quite yet. One thing that we didn't really touch upon is how they moved Dendi top in Timbersault mid and whether that's a good trade for them. Yeah, we know that Dendi did give up first blood. Oh, uh-oh. Pudge needs to come in here and help out. They're going to get the storm hammered. The hook's actually going to go into art style here. He's going to get off the disruption to slow down the Pudge. And okay, Soul Catcher Poison not going to be catching, however, but he has them is hungry. He wants blood. He's charging on forward. Get away from me, Havost. I got something in mind, but here comes the help. A surging spin. Charges in, gets the kill with the storm hammer. Oh, he hooks it to his own dunk they still get him most with the fissure regardless but here comes dendy looking to move on in and oh, oh sven he's kind of trapped in his own little side lane dendy maybe a bit too nervous knowing that he could jump into his own trouble here but okay sounds like funnick is on route they get the stun onto dendy will funnick be there in time gets a three-man chakra but tendy already goes down and now they're gonna look to possibly pull back no they're gonna turn right back into funnick they're gonna drop the echo and the dragon tail it's yellow submarine Going anyways, because he thought he could scream. He was mid animation for scream, and then he got storm bolted because he was followed. Oh, gets the grab. He's been looking for it onto the shadow demon. Instead, gonna get it on Soniko. They don't have that high ground vision, so Visage gonna be going down. But it looks like PSM will be trading his own life for it. And now it's Navi on the return. This time they're gonna be able to grab out Dale. Big disruption gonna be blocking him in place. Oh, that fissure not gonna help on out. Don't think he would have been able to make it away regardless. So they end up losing too. So gotta give him a bit. Obviously, Brace are not gonna be helping down the road but at this point he also seems just as flimsy as the targets he's been going for now this was that crazy chaotic moment in the bottom lane it looked like it could end up being big trouble here for psm but there's that surge on the Sven able to charge on in he gets a nice catch with the shadow demon right there but it looks like action might be bringing it out and certainly it is it looks like the earth shaker was dropped there from soniko on the bottom lane and back at mid lane here they get the pullback kill which is going to be dropping havost going back to bottom lane once more it's dendy now going to be caught out dragon tail is going to be there there's the free fire dendy dishing out some damage but is going to be able to blink away to the west side into the, some trees, but there's the hook grab. What a snack coming in for PSM. Oh, hey, Dendy, you thought you're pretty good with Pudge, right? Well, I got something for you. This Earth Shaker, but Farnick is persistent. He looks to charge him, but a nice, wonderful fissure stopping him from stopping him from moving on in. Plus, the Dragon Knight, of course, looking to interject. I'm hearing action breaking up, by the way, during this. Did they have vision, or was this a blind hook out? Oh, what a sense right here. Whoop, boom. Oh, they had, they had chicken. Oh, it was the Elvis Aquarius, yeah. There was a mushroom Aquarius floating nearby. Wow, that was convenient, but oh, big Sonic Wave and a dunk follow-up. Navi looking to strike back now, PSM. He is going to be going down. Soul Sumption is going to be finishing him off, and just as we're praising them, they're going to lose three. Possibly could be losing four here. Big disruption. Sven now in a bit of trouble. Looking to run away here. Do they have the follow-up? They do. They have it in the form of or to lose map control and map vision at this point in the game. Dale. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Blink on the boast. Dale the Darts here, able to get his mech, and oh, what a nicely timed Storm Hammer Funk trying to timber chain away. Not going to be happening. They get the follow up and the kill. Mid lane, big echo and Dragon Tail going to be finishing off the Shadow Demon. Oh, nice Sonic Wave on the return from Dendi. Gets his own kill. Hook's going to be off the mark. Want to get that tower first, and now they are on the run. Havo should be able to blink. Phonic tries to timber chain away, but here comes the Dragonite. That range with the Dragon Tail. Going to be able to connect. Vacuum back with the hook. That looks a bit silly, but they're able to get it, and they get the drop, but they end up eating a lot of damage. The follow-through, though, 
is not quite there from Navi. So Yellow Submarine, they lose their tower. But here comes Savos. Nice catch on to two here. Can they bring down Dale? They can. There's going to be the one-man drop. They should get the follow-up. It's a twofer as they drop the DK. Havos now on the run in hot pursuit. The Stormhammer is going to be able to slow him down. Can they still catch the punch? They can. He can't move too fast. He's a fatty, but can he get a kill? No, nope, he can't. Proves to be very nice as they secure their own Roche. And there is Treble. Nice little hook on Sonico with the December fall. Can they finish off the stitches in time? The birds are coming for the stun. They do get the bird, but they might lose their punch. Big Sonic wave, but they blink themselves into trouble. Dragon Tails right there. Your Aegis is going to be going down. And Dendi on his return here won't have the Sonic Wave. Good vacuum into the wall, but not going to be enough. Oh, Echo Slam for Havos. Dragonite is going to be going down. It's just chaos all over the place. Funnick looking to follow on forward. The Fissure's going to be slowing him down. Up to the northern hand side. Spent on the chase, trying to get a hold of Dendi, but now he gets caught in his own call out from Havos. And the three of them tackle the one Sven. Oh, very close to being brought down. Their team fight wombo combo could be pretty Radiant's ridiculous, but uh oh, Darkseer already scouted attack. out. Nice heads up from the bird, Dyer's means that both is going to get the jump in, and that's a quick dunk. Very good play attack. there from Sonico to kind of scout out the backside of the tower right there, and because of it, they're able to quickly punish the Darkseer. Meanwhile, you see Yellow Submarine pushing down this top tier two. The CTP's come in, and oh, he blocked his own hook! Oh, that was a bit of a miscommunication there. That's actually, usual. Really, that's actually really good for them. Oh no, they're falling apart now. Uh -oh, the tilt is real now. Apparently they quickly lose three now. Sven's gonna make it four. Uh oh. Like vultures here, like it's coming. The opportunity will be there. Yeah, they don't see it. Okay, hard style. Got him! Pull back even with the glimmer cape. Can we bite him on down? This is Radiant's gonna be a Shadow Demon for lunch potentially. Self-destruction will prolong it a bit, but it's still jumping from Dendi. They get the kill regardless. Now Funix setting up the shotgun. Does some good damage. Dendi gonna be caught out here. Big Dragon Tail with the wall on top of the follow through from Earthshaker. And they quickly make it three. Vos inches four. They will get that extra bit of vision here, but Yellow Submarine not confident in moving that Roach Pit. Maybe if they get a possible pick here, they send DK in on forward, and oh, it was a smoke from Navi that's going to quickly get popped, and he's going to still want to fight. He moves on in, and quickly raises, uh-oh, vacuum into the wall here. Now it's Funnick on the retreat back, and look at the echo on the backstab right here. Both Dendi and Arsenal could get locked down. Dendi's going to be stepped on back. He's going to get the Glimmer Cape, but a huge Sonic Wave. Going to be able to fly on through, or is it? BKB's being popped now from both sides. There goes Sven charging on in. to go for fun. It catches him before he's able to timber chain away, but he's going to get dumped thereafter from Havost. And now with that, Sonico caught with the Fissure. Follow through from Dendi. Looking to go. Can they finish off the Earthshaker? They certainly can. And then, or if you can, like, Fissure him Dyer's as he's getting getting hooked, fallen. so you can eat him without him nice. BKB. Yeah, that'd be really good. Oh, oh, or the shout demon. No, immediate self destruction. And now everything breaks out. Holy crap! Vacuum yeah. into wall with the echo follow up, and they wipe out three from Navi. Under attack. Okay, that just happened. Funic on the run here, hand in hand with Sonico. Can they catch him out before they make the retreat? They make the jump on the Funic, and they clear him out. And now Sonico in the backhand side catches out this Earthshaker. Earthshaker, not again. <laughs> he gets dropped down. Oh, so Nico makes it away. Now with the T3 towers down. T3 yeah, tower down, rather. So Nico acting as their rash sieving unit with the help of that AT. He is going to get hooked here, but the Brax do go, does go down. They get the bite. But uh, yeah, Morash going to be going down right here, it looks like. It's been and can't really get in there to get a longer work done. DK ends up getting Dyer's dropped. Now he's in there trying to chop away, but he might be cutting apart. Instead, they're going to be hooking a bird. Instead, they're probably going for the save. Wall is there. Have most of the low ground. It's going to be saved. Your spend will go down. Double kill for Dendi. Long ball soul assumption. Dale might be the lone survivor at this point as PSM is going to be dropped. Navi. See play from both sides. Funnick's like, there's my cool blades, but I don't know. Looking tough. Tier three is already pretty dang low. Oh, I think they commit outside the base. They are. There's the echo. There's the wall here. A big pullback. Sonic Wave does fly out. So Earthshaker is going to be going on down. They managed to get down. Funny Kavos pretty damn low as Sven looks to spank him apart. Gets him. Big pullback from PS. He dropped Darkseer. Looks to buy back. Dale back into the action. Sven has legs. Wants to try to duke it out with Sonico. And they get the kill. Ends up being a 4 3 trade. You can make it a 4 for 4 if you count the buyback. Maybe they're trying to guess the walking pattern here from Navi that they're going to cut right to the woods and catch them off guard, but they're going to see these illusions. They don't pop the smoke, so they know it's obviously not the real Dendi. Daedalus. Jeez. Sonika. He's crazy. Uh-oh. 
There's going to be the jump on four from on both. BKB pop is going to get pulled back. Obviously, this vision not going to be connected. But could block out the rest of the team. Big pullback. Chip is going to be popped. There's the wall. They burst down Havos here. Yellow submarine trying to fight and stay strong. The turns going to go down. They are going to drop the air shaker. Then the Dragon Knight thereafter. And then Funning dishing out the big shockroom damage. Flying on through. They quickly wipe out the yellow submarine group. Even Navi pulling out their buybacks to conclude this one. Two more buybacks. Three more buybacks coming out. Dragon Knight back in at bay. And the racks slowly get with it away. Sven thinks he can jump on in there. Gonna be forced to pop his BKB, but the call doesn't care about that. Gets brought back right into the fight. He goes down, he has no buyback. And with that, it looks like Navi are gonna be a cleaning up the rest, but no submarine. No surprise from this funky group. Never say die. They will fight to the bitter end while they can. DK charging on in, beheaded. And now they're just getting corralled in their own base side. So Nico, the battle visage, trying to go, but he's gonna get dunked on. Revenge comes out from Earthshaker! Haha, <laughs> fool! You got me those couple of times, but now I locked you inside the base. Oh, just short to get snag him back in the fountain. That would have been awesome, but not happening. And they keep charging on him. Dale! Dale, no! He drops the wall. Oh, he goes down. And this looks to be it. Good game, well played. Does come out eventually from their captain, PSM. But what a story it has been. Yellow Submarine, your open qualifier squad. Remember that. They come in. I'm sure they've made some fans. I'm looking forward to seeing what they could do. I'm sad to see them go. I am too. They've they made for some entertaining matches, man. Mm. In win or loss, it, it doesn't matter. They like to have a lot of fun. And I can appreciate that in my Dota. So. Yeah. I like their play style. As we look over to the other side of the panel, Capitalist LD, did you guys have fun? That was that was just pure like clown CIS Dota at its finest, man. I, 